How important do you think social media is now for real estate agents? It's, uh, they shouldn't really be working without. Okay, so tell me about your business plan. So you're investing a hell of a lot of money into, well, not just in, like physical money, but time, like a lot of time going into this. You probably happen to you know, use the money that you've got to live off for a while. What's the business plan? What's the goal? What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another podcast. Today we have Nestor on. Now guys, if you don't know who this guy is, you will soon, all right? So I actually found this guy from a YouTube video, which is super impressive. So you know those YouTube videos where you see people touring those like mad properties, those super luxurious properties? Well, this guy, Nestor, has decided to go it all in on this type of business, and I'm gonna let him explain exactly what he does. I think, you know, this type of business is super hard to tap into. I've seen people do it, but once you make it, you really do make it big. So, without further ado, Nestor, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi. And, oh. and yeah, sure, go ahead and show everyone. <laughs> tell everyone what you do. Uh, thanks for that. I mean, that's a great, great it's introduction right, for me. It? It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, when you invited me on, it was uh, sort of something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm Nestor. I make YouTube videos. We tour like some of the most amazing houses in Dubai. Um, it's been a journey that we started around October, really. I moved here in September. We started in October and it's sort of been rolling from there. We've filmed about eight properties now, nine properties. Mm. And some of them are like really, really luxurious. And it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a good journey till now. Yeah, no, so how, how, I mean, how did this idea come about? Because, you know, coming from a video production background, I have worked with people like yourself, especially, I mean, if anyone's watching this that knows Matt and Summer, they're very big YouTube uh, influencers, I would say, that are in the real estate space. They've yeah. been touring properties for the last five years. They've built up hundreds of thousands of followers and now they get to travel the world and do what they love, which I think is amazing. Um, so, but, but how did you even get into this? What was your thought process like? Did you just wake up one day and decide, yeah, we're going in? Yeah, I mean, obviously we know Matt and Summer as well. They were here in Dubai, so we, we've watched a lot of their videos. But the thought process was, um, so my background in the UK, I was an actor, so I started that around 2018, I've traveled the world, so from 18, I lived in Paris, I lived in Germany, uh, I lived in Serbia for three years, that's where my parents are from as well. Um, back in 2018, I moved back to the UK to chase the dream, sort of, and the dream was acting, but, and so it started to go well, it was started to go how it was supposed to, uh, been on like two Netflix series, wow. um, did some theatre, and then the pandemic hit and then bang. Yeah. It was just, everything was cut off, theatres, er, all public gatherings. So everyone was lo locked at home. And I was speaking to my cousin here and they watch a lot of like real estate videos, like the ones that we're doing. Cause so in America, these are quite, it's quite a big thing in America. There's a lot of people that do these tours yeah. and it, it's as, as the marketing side, like even some real estate agents, they've gone from real estate just to doing these videos. And they wanted to start that here because they've noticed that there was like a little gap in the market for these sort of videos because there are people that do these tours. It's just that sort of it's they show them it's more of a vlog sort of version. We wanted to do the sort of cinematic experience mm. and they invited me over. They're like, we need somebody in front of the camera. And I thought, yeah, why not? It's just go. I've, I've been like that in my, in my life. Just make the decision and just go head on. Absolutely. So who invited you over exactly your... It was my it was my cousin. Like, so he, they came up with the idea. Yeah. They decided that we want to get in front of the, you know, in front of an audience in Dubai. And and it's funny you say about the the niche in the market because, you know, personally I, I know I've seen a lot of people you know in America doing it. Like you got your Ryan Serhan. Yeah. Uh, you've got the brothers. I can't remember the names. Um, uh, the, I think Mario Brothers. Yeah, is that yeah, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, Ennis is Ennis for, Ennis for us is yeah. our inspiration. So yeah. he is he has the the best quality videos. Like even now. He's just leveling up every video. Mm -hmm. um, and that's sort of our inspiration for why we started as well, just watching his videos. Yeah, and that's why I got you on, because I appreciate how hard this kind of thing is. You know, like I say, I actually film these kinds of videos yeah. for clients. And like, you know, people pay me good money to do these kinds of things. And, but you know, you coming into the industry, you're not an agent. Yeah. You're not getting paid to do this just yet because you're starting out. You know, that takes a lot of like, you know, that's a big risk. Number it's, a lot of, it's a lot of time and effort, honestly. It's to, to get a good video out for us. I mean, there's only two of us doing it as well. So for these mega mansions, we've like filmed sometimes, we've filmed five days in one because we had only a certain period where we could film it. But it ends up being around 130, 150 hours work just for one video. 
because we try to like look at the details and everything like even just picking out music will take oh at, at least God. at least a full day it's like because there is that typical sort of music that you get in these real estate videos which is but we like to get, match it to the home mm. and so we take at least at least a day so we're listening if we can't figure it out we'll like edit a bit of the video and then we'll just get a feel for the home and then we'll like listen to music again and see if it matches yeah. so it, it's it, we want it to be an experience to watch the video because they like they're quite long as well. So our last video was 45 minutes. Was that, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was the villa in Emirates Hills, right? Yeah, the Emirates Hills one. We, we did that with some, one of your colleagues here as well. So yeah. it was, it's it, that one, that one we filmed for two and a half days, I'd say, all together, like 130 hours work. So it's... I mean, to be honest, it takes a good hour to walk around the whole villa. <laughs> like, I mean, I, we went and visited that villa and it's quite, if you, if some, some background on that villa, it's, it, it's designed in such, well, I'll put, I'll put the link in the description anyway, but it's designed in such a unique way that you can't just, it's not just your bog standard whitewash wall villa. Like it's insanely customized. <laughs> Every part of it is the, like the highest quality you can think of. Just even touching like the sofas, it was an experience. Like the, the, the little details like the chandeliers, everything, the, the tissue box that they have is Hermes. Like it's like, I mean, it's, Imagine. it's, it's crazy just what, what the, the amount, like um, the amount of luxury stuff that they put into these homes. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's why, you know, when you talk about the gap in the market in Dubai, there is that level of luxury. What you like, cause not every, you can't just bring these types of videos to anywhere. Yeah, They've got yeah. to be in a place where, you know, villas and, and homes, they go that extra mile to look so unique and so spectacular to be able to be worth to be filmed, right, really? I mean, I, f I, feel, I feel in Dubai that type of market, so there obviously is luxury here in Dubai, but that type of market is, is just coming out and we're here at the right time, I think, because every home, they do build these mansions, but they're quite, quite similar with the finishings. Now people have started to understand that uh, to, to sell a home that is fully furnished, it needs to be customized. It needs to have its own sort of design, interior and architecture. And I think that's sort of, that's why this market is moving up here as well. Yeah, I mean, I've got a question on that, right? I yeah. mean, I think it's, um, I think when things are customized too much, you do narrow the niche down and the target audience to that. So yeah. what are your thoughts on customization of properties because you know i think it's a it could be a mixed response but what have you got to say about it if you go over over customization obviously you're going to have a smaller smaller uh, sort of set of buyers that you can sort of attract um, but if you have the elegant the if something has sort of its own va va voom is, is yeah, that yeah, like, yeah, yeah, is yeah, the yeah. word for it mm -hmm. but you know some uh, either like a fully like black onyx uh, bathroom you know with it's just adding those little things which separate your home from another place yeah and right okay so in terms of the you know the performance on the videos what would you say i mean i mean i'm sure you can agree with this a lot of people hate on dubai when you put, put out youtube videos they always say ah oh, slave labor like this country is not good for this not countries for that and they're people usually who haven't been to dubai yeah. right but what do you think the audience look for the most or what do they appreciate the most on the videos that you create in terms of what's inside of the villa? Yeah, it's it's tough. I think we had we we had these kind of comments as well, and it, it's it, it's all relative as well because okay, it's it's a smaller apartment, but the views are absolutely stunning. The location where you are where you are as well. It's, it's someone was saying a small apartment cost however much it was. I've, I've forgotten. I'm in the millions, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, if you're looking at Central Park in New York or somewhere, somewhere you know, yeah. it, it's it's still a tiny apartment yeah. for like five five million dollars or something. So it's it's all relative. And Dubai is it was up and coming. I think it's a pretty developed city now. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you're paying for that price to be living in Dubai and to have that sort of. Yeah, I mean, in comparison to these cities, though, you know, you've got to remember that Dubai is technically still very undervalued. Like the price per square foot is cheaper than most of the other countries like New York and London yeah. and, and these places. Um, but, and you know, that's why, you know, the property market is so booming here. And it's only, it's only going to get bigger as well because, uh, I mean, the division for Dubai by 2040, they're going to have double the population that they have now. Mm -hmm. You can see on every corner, they're, they're building, building new towers, new, new areas, new sort of gated communities. So the luxury side is just is booming here. Yeah. 
Absolutely. What's your favorite part? What's your yeah? What's your favorite part of Dubai? I think it's the one that you're sort of. Uh, it's Palm Jumeirah, obviously. Of course, it, everybody loves the Palm. Don't yeah, they? it's it's it has. It's just that it feel, for me it feels like the suburbia because I I sort of grew up in a village back home as well. Mm. Um, so it feels like being in the suburbs, but and like instead of a back garden, you've got your beach. Mm. You, you've got you've got the sea there, and it's a bit like you know ten feet from you from the beach. So yeah. It's, I know, I, I totally that, agree. That's the reason why I love it. You have that yeah. same same kind of feeling. Yeah, because you were filming Maraba. Yeah, we did that. That's the apartment on the palm. Yeah. That, that one was great because you had an actual view onto the the city as well mm. and the, like the Burj Al Arab, the Burj Khalifa. And that was a stunning apartment. Like super simplistic. Um, yeah, I mean, very, it is. Very clean. Yeah. But it, it's just, it, it has, again, it had that sort of unique, unique feeling inside. Mm. So you told me you moved to Dubai in September. Yeah. What don't you like about Dubai? What don't I like about Dubai? Um, I, I don't like that there's a, a lot of people who are private about these villas. We want to be filming a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's something that you have to sort of battle with, with, is that not everyone wants to film these villas. And it's tough to get the because we 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 sort of we call agents we mm -hmm. we call designers develop with developers we promote them in our video and it's it's hard sometimes because there's so many agents that are in dubai they're battling out for one property it's it's hard for, to ask an agent to ask the owner of course uh, to do a, like a full youtube video because they might get offended by that or they might not like it and they don't want to lose that sort of relationship with that they have with the owners so it's it's a battle, but it, you know it's 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 nothing it's nothing major. No, I mean you're right there. A lot you, to be honest, it's hard enough some, sometimes to get landlords to even list the properties online. Yeah, a lot of them, you know, a lot of the landlords, you know, they they like the exclusivity of being able to sell their villa without having to list it online, and then but then being on it's not just being online in terms of property finding. It's then going viral to yeah a hell of a lot more people. I mean, social media is a massive tool that that, that should be used. It, it's they use it in the states and in the UK not as much. The states is probably the, the number one country that uses social media, but it it adds that a client who's watched the video, like one of especially one of our videos, because you have the typical real estate videos that do just shots around the place. They last for like two three minutes. But with our de videos, we go into detail about everything, about the f functionality of the, the sockets, mm. uh, e just all those little details. So once the agents, once we've made the video with them, they can send it to the clients, to the, to the buyers. They watch the video. If they come and see the villa, you know that they've, they like the villa. They are 60% there, ready to buy. Yeah. You just have to, it's down to you to obviously cl close the deal. Yeah, well, you've asked, they, they, you've probably answered every possible question <laughs> that they could know about the villa. Yeah, you that, know what I mean? that, the videos are longer, but someone who wants to buy a 50 million, well, of 100 they million, they, they, they? Want, they want to know everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they want to know who's designed the wood and where it's came from, what country it's came from, what it's painted with, you know? Because at the end of the day, if this is an investment or, you know, somewhere where they want to live, then you want to know you're getting the best quality. It's not, it's not just, so we do cater the videos obviously for buyers, but we cater these for like people who just want to see these mansions as well. And to understand why is this villa cost 50 million? It's not because it's just 50 million. It's because it's this wood that's like, we had the blue onyx in one. You have to wait 12 months just to get on the waiting list to order. I don't know how many like square feet of the, of, of the blue onyx to put on the wall. So it's, there's a reason why this stuff is yeah. so expensive. I mean, it's, yeah, it, some of the villas, a lot of them, they need a lot of refurbishment and a lot of them are run down. And, you know, I think it almost gives people as well inspiration, you know, watching your videos to see what potential yeah. that they can bring, especially on the palm, right? You've got tons of villas with the old style, you know, they've got the, they've just got all that same marble design. They've got the old Arabic style to it. But people are just coming in, knocking them down, and then sort of like refurbishing them now. Yeah, uh, that's that's what we've noticed as well. And then we've worked mostly with this fit out company, who they do amazing work. And if you could leave their like details in the of description course, as well, yeah. they they they've helped grow our channel. Um, it's they. I call them. I, I don't really want to call them, but I call them McDonald's mansions because when the sort of the developers they build this this sort of plot, they make 
a lot of mansions that are the same style with the same finishings and then this company comes in and they just knock everything down and put all everything that you want in like to, up to the top quality and that's mm. that's kind of the stuff that we want to film is you can't film 10 mansions which look the same they might be 10 feet apart so mm -hmm. they are different mansions but it's just the same video it's the, it's, it's the same mansion so okay here's a question do you think there's a market then for like re-renovation and creating custom built properties and then being able to resell them do you think the market's big for that do you think there's a lot of people wanting to buy that i think there's a lot of people in dubai that are doing that already that's yeah yeah, it's, yeah. it's it, dubai is all about investment and money coming through and opportunities and, uh, and stuff like that so i think there's a lot of people buying villas now the market is crazy uh, it's everything is as soon as before it's even on the market it's sold yeah um, the reason i asked that question is because it wasn't a big thing back in the day you know buying a mansion renovating it flipping it that wasn't a thing you know like there was not that many people doing that but now no. it's becoming it's becoming like a big thing. Like even in the UK, it's been a thing for a long yeah. time. But in Dubai, it's now becoming a thing. Uh, you, know, you know why I think that is? So I think before uh, Dubai was somewhere where you invest in and that's it. You, you sort of stay here for a year or two and you leave. Now, there's a lot of people looking to like move here, to live here. And when, they, when these people with a lot of money move here, they want to move in, get a key, turn it, and, and the house is ready for them. Yeah. You know, and that's why there's now people investing buying renovating it's a it's like a turnkey turnkey i think it's called turnkey so yeah. you, you, you got to get the key and the place is just ready for you to live in and that's why there's so much of that i mean yeah there's a lot of foreign investment you know yeah. people coming over people escaping their own countries for the you know for many reasons nowadays and a lot of people you know they don't want to have to do it themselves you know I mean, especially, the, easy, especially the guys with the big, big, big yeah, it's, money. It's the, it's, the, it's the ease of just being able to move in. I would, I, I would prefer that. <laughs> Me too. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I, I would love to refurbish my own properties and flip them and stuff like that. And that's something, you know, in the future I will do. But, I mean, the thought of, like, this beautifully customised villa, you just walk in, nobody's lived there, it's amazing. And boom, there's the key. There you go. Enjoy yeah. life. Oh, man. Like that one in the Emirates Hills had a nightclub in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a is... nightclub, a cinema room. Guys, you've, if you've not watched this video, you've got to go and watch it. The it cinema, it literally, it literally felt like one of them 60s cinema. And you go inside, and usually the cinemas as well, the sofas aren't super good. This had like the comfiest sofas oh, ever. Oh, my God, I know. And the spa down there as well. That, it was, it I was didn't crazy. even see the spa. I'll have to watch a video, <laughs> video again, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and, you know, people like come in and they just do these amazing jobs for these places and it, it's really interesting to see how the market's moving with that so i got another question why why don't you become a real estate agent what's what's made you not want to do that um that wasn't firstly it wasn't the plan it's not been a dream so this whole thing is an incorporation of i like acting and this is sort of real estate mm -hmm. I, I, I like real estate as well so it, it's an in-between as well and it helps it helps us in one sense because we're not in competition with other agents yeah that yeah, uh, that, that it's that would we, always we, we can film yeah. with, with with everyone and that's what we want to do we want to help these agents sell their properties sell their properties as well mm -hmm. um but well, it's yeah it, for, for now it's not the plan I, I don't think i would get into it there's no need i mean okay so tell me about your business plan all right like in term you know you don't have to go into too much depth you know we're not yeah. saying talk figures and all that but you know with so, this type of business, sorry, I'll let you talk. No, go on, go on, no, go on. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I thought, I thought, yeah, yeah. No, no, with this type of business, you know, it requires a lot of investment. So that's coming out of your own pocket, right? Yeah. So you're investing a hell of a lot of money into, well, not just in, like physical money, but time, like a lot of time going into this. You probably happen to, you know, use the money that you've got to live off for a while. What's the business plan? What's the goal? So the business plan is to become sort of the main one of the main channels here in the UAE for, for touring properties and sort of we're not looking to earn from agents so we're looking to build the channel to be able to work with sponsors and to work with like YouTube and stuff from the agents we're currently not charging uh, and that's sort of it helps us get in the door mm -hmm. but in the future it would be uh, we want to sort of just cover our costs for the video and then, and then the rest, the rest is sort of profit, profit for us. But mm -hmm. it, it, for now, it, we're not charging. But in the future, it would be that. And then we develop that into doing Dubai, Abu Dhabi, the GCC, and then hopefully like worldwide. I just had Matt and someone they're traveling the world doing it. Yeah, they are. For us, yeah. I mean, the dream would be like, oh, I want to go skiing in January, or let's let's see if anyone in Canada wants to do a house tour. 
and then you go for four, for like two weeks, you film for four or five days, mm -hmm. and then you ski for the next 10 days. I mean, that, that, that's the dream, but yeah, we'll hopefully, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. And what, how, do you, how important do you think social media is now for real estate agents? It's, uh, they shouldn't really be working without. It's, I think it's the, the biggest tool that they have in their bank. To, uh, there's companies, we've talked about Dromelia as well. Mm. They've recently put out a video that their marketing team is as big as their sales team. And, and that's, they've incorporated both into the whole Dromelia, the Dromelia experience. And for us, we're creating, the mar we're creating the marketing side just here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. um, so f for them, it's easier to outsource just to have that branch of marketing. We're so we know now who we what clients to, not what clients, what, what, what consumers that we want to yeah. sort of attract and stuff like that. So it should be easier for them to work with us. And that's, that's, that's the goal is that they look, look for us when they have any agent, they know about us, they have a mansion, they have a client who's willing to film for this, and then they just, yes, Nesta, we'd love to film this, and that would be. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, and I, like, like I said, I used to live in Marbella, so I was, I was, I seen how Jamelia worked. I used to be, I used to message the videographer when I was just starting out, and I was like, mate, how are these videos so good? Like, yeah, how yeah. is the, like, how is the shot so smooth, and like, how are you doing this? And he gave me a few tips, and uh, like, it just, it made me realize, you know, you know, these guys, they put out a video, it gets hundreds of thousands of views, they get loads of leads. I've seen, you know, I've seen people just use TikTok, for example, yeah. blow up on that over the course of one year, and now they get all of their leads from TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, they, ha they have to do it. And, and some, sometimes there are some people, most of the people here in D Dubai are innovative, but it's, there are some that are just like, no, they have their in-house marketing team, and I guess, that that's what they have but it's not as it's different because here there's such a competition for jobs as well in, this is in my opinion anyway there's such a competition for jobs so here in the marketing team there's no one that wants to be there's no one willing to go creative they're just doing the same sort of standard of norm of video that mm -hmm. everyone else is putting out that's why i put this podcast out. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah exactly like this, this 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 you don't have this in dubai exactly so it's everyone's scared to do something like that and and when you ring them, oh, we have our in-house marketing team, so they're paying them monthly. So you know, I'm saying this is yeah. free for now. So it's just have us do it. You'll see that there is a difference. And the, like it, the in-house marketing team, don't get me wrong, they're brilliant at yeah, what yeah. they do. But they might have a team of five people and 200 agents. Do you know what I mean? Like okay, like they've got to be selective. You know, the marketing team, as we both know, you can't just be filming. You know, like every person's villa every single week because they just run out of time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think, percent. yeah, I mean, I think it's important for people to realize now that, you know, if you aren't using social media, it's like now or never, you know, Definitely. now it's time it, it, to build an audience and show, I think personal branding, like, you know, you're the face of your brand. I'm the face of my brand. I've never yeah. been scared about, you know, presenting that and that's yeah, going to make people want to buy from you. Yeah, it's 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 creating a brand that whole experience. You you have to you have to do it, going from levels from TikTok because your Instagram should feed your YouTube. So if you're doing Instagram TikTok, it should all feed each other as well. Yeah, and then that should hopefully feed the 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 real estate business side as well. Absolutely. All right, Nesta. So I've got one last question for you. What do you think the future holds for social media and real estate as a whole? I mean, what a great question that is. Um, and we've, we've thought about this so much as well, how we can evolve our channel and everything. And everything's going to move to social media in the future, obviously. All companies, and especially people working from home now as well. And for me, I think as our channel, the idea is that we're going to go through like VR, AR. Like imagine you just have a client that wants to buy a property and everyone's got Oculus Rifts or whatever at home. Yeah. And you just tell them, right, we've done a tour with this guy, put the, put the Oculus Rift on. There's me at the front door, bang, hi guys, how are you doing? And they've got like the, the things they can pick out, I wanna go this way, that way, right, let me take you this way, and they go around the room, you can show them exactly what they have in the house, all the details, they can pick out exactly the little corners, yeah. and, and it, you can go fully into detail, and they do that all from the home as well. So I think the possibilities are endless with social, me social media and uh, real estate. Absolutely, and you know, when, when you just said that, I remember when I was working at a co-working space, and I remember these guys, they've got, I can't remember the name of the company, but they told me to put this headset on. So what they do, they go around and they do a full 3D tour of the house. They, you know, they set the cameras up, do the full 3D tour, and then you can literally walk around the house 
and the best thing about it is as well like you know like before these villas are customized yeah. by the you know the developers the owner has the ability to go in there and be like all right let me see what these three different colors of marble can look like and then they can just press a button and then it changes the color and then they can see the change the color changing of the of the floor plat the floor patterns the the materials of the wood and it's just insane what's happening yeah no I, I've, I've seen that already that's they do that with renders and yeah. i have a friend who's got a company that actually does that maybe um, it's the same one yeah, yeah. um he, he stops it for now but yeah it was crazy because i didn't even know about this thing that, that, that they have and just he showed me and went into the program just clicking everything that, that i wanted to change the colors it was incredible i know and do you think that's going to take away from the need for real estate agents so much could do but i mean <laughs> i mean uh, not so much. I mean, obviously, you still have to have the base and the sale and the sales team. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You, you, have, you have the videographers, so we we love our side of the job. We think, like, as videographers, we want to feel that we, we do the main part. But obviously, the sales team is a massive part of the yeah, of the of the sale of the properties. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Nesta, listen, we're going to wrap the podcast up here. It's been amazing to have you on today, and you know, I've really enjoyed the conversation that we've had, and I hope everyone who's been watching can sort of take away some inspiration as well that you know you can move to these different countries and you can start things from scratch prime example of a guy that's done it left everything to come and do this so nesta thank you so much for having the podcast if you want to say anything else to everyone before they before they go no it's been a pleasure honestly um i hope we do this again in the near future so in the next six months let's do this in six months guys and we can see remember i think he's in about two and a half thousand subscribers now one of your videos got 100k plus views yeah all right, let's let's revisit this in six months. It'll so be six super months, we'll, interesting. we'll see you, and I'm excited to do it again. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's All been right. a pleasure, mate. Nesta, thank you very much, mate. Cheers, bro. Cheers.